back to Palm Springs Unwrapped. We have some celebrities in the building tonight. We got Verdi, Jordan, Vicky, and Valerie. First off, you guys own Queens of Cobbler, but let's talk about, because you guys were just on TV on an incredible show, Let's Make a Deal. Verdi, what was it like getting to be on Let's Make a Deal? It was an amazing opportunity. Love Wayne Brady, him, his staff. They showed us so much love. It was it was just exciting. It's a surreal moment. I know you guys had a little really watch was. party for yeah. that moment. Wayne Brady was eating your pie on national <laughs> television. <laughs> okay, and he approved, and we approve as well. We're gonna try your pie in a second. Queens of Cobbler is your name, which I love because you Thank all you. are queens Thank and you. kings. Okay. <laughs> Vicki, tell us how you got this business started. I know you all are family, right? Right. All sisters? Right. Yes. yes, we are all sisters. Okay. Um, myself and Vicki are actually twins, and then Valerie's two years younger than us, and Jordan here is my son. I love that. How did yes. you get the business started? What made you want well, to start making Well, previously, well, first, let's start from the beginning. Our father would sell our mother's food as we were growing up. He would come home with orders for sweet potato pies or this and be like, Alice, I need four sweet potato pies on Friday. She'd be like, what? So she was running a business and she didn't even know it. So as, <laughs> as we grew up, we were kind of always making stuff or we took turns making desserts. And then um, when I was married to his father, we would have our house open every Sunday and we would do barbecue and sides and desserts. And so people would say, you guys should open a restaurant. And that we did. So we were in the barbecue and soul food restaurant business for years. Yeah. And the peach cobbler took on a life of its own. Yeah. So it would get to where it was selling out, out almost daily. People would call in the morning to reserve some on their way home from work just to make sure that it didn't sell out. And so our last restaurant um, closed in 2009 when the economy tanked and my son Jordan and my older son JD had been asking to do a restaurant or some type of venture for years and it was just like my nerves just couldn't do it. It's a lot. Yeah. So um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in summer of 2019 and while I was in treatment the second chemo gave me insomnia. So I was up the entire night one night literally I did not sleep at all and the idea of doing something with the desserts came to me. And I text the family on the family thread the next morning wow. and said, hey, we're going to do this. What about just the desserts? And um, that's kind of how it started. Is peach cobbler, is that still a specialty for you guys? Or, or what are your, your main dishes you have? Peach cobbler is definitely the most popular, but I would say the runner-up is our layered banana pudding. Ooh. Yeah, that catches a lot of attention. I love I love me some banana pudding. We're going to have to do a little bit of some taste testing with our crew here. Well, I know you guys are in San Jacinto. Of course, you come for Village Fest, but where can people go for more information, or can they do orders online for you Yes, guys? we are actually shipping now. So our website is um, queensofcobbler.com, and our shop is in San Jacinto. We will also be participating in the June 10th, 10th event here in Palm Springs on June 17th. And um, we do various events throughout Southern California. So if you follow us on IG, most of the time you can get our new hours or what events we're going to be participating in. Awesome. Okay, we'll definitely check out their website. We're going to eat a little bit more of this banana pudding and peach cobbler. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after. <laughs>
this. Well, welcome back, everybody, to the Palm Springs and Wraps game show. Uh, they were on Let's Make a Deal, so we're creating our own game show here. It's a little bit of a makeshift, you guys, okay? Let's do it. And our contestant today, you guys are the judges of this contestant. Okay. okay. Our contestant today is Tim O'Brien. Welcome to the game show. How are you hey, feeling? thanks for having me. I'm <laughs> so pumped to be here. I know you prepared your whole life yes. for this moment on this game show. Thank you for playing. Do you have any tips, judges, before he picks piece of, piece of paper number one or number two? Do you have any tips of which one to, to, to pick? I don't. My only tip is you always win with the peach cobbler, so I don't know. You always <laughs> win with the peach <laughs> cobbler. Yes. Ooh, that is tough. Now, uh, fans at home, if you were watching our game tonight, is there are two pieces of paper with prizes underneath, but which one is Tim going to pick? We're about to find out right now. Tim, you got your advice from the judges here. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, Tim. Is it paper number one or paper number two for you? Two is my favorite number, so I'm going with two. All right, it is number All right. two. All right, so good answer, good answer. People, what did he win? What did he win? What's hey, going on? Yeah. Well, now we have our second contestant on the Palm Springs and Raps game. Max, how are you feeling on our game show? I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm going to get the banana cream pie. Ooh, <laughs> all right, banana cream pie. Well, let's the see. Pudding, yeah. Banana pudding. <laughs> banana pudding. <laughs> banana pudding. Yeah. Banana pudding. Cream, you know what? It's got some banana, so, right? So Tim went two, right? Tim did go yes. two. He and did. I'm going to go one. Okay. He is going to go number one. OK, here is your piece of paper. And what did he win, ladies and gentlemen? Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so for much. having us. Really good. Thank, thank you for having us. Yeah, no, thank you so much for coming on the show. We are blessed to have all of you here to showcase your amazing, amazing desserts that you have. Remember, go to their website for more information. And we'll see you next time for another game of Palm Springs and Wraps. <laughs>
Yeah, are we done shopping? Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got a couple. All right, things. good. Well, let's go play pickleball. Come I on. know, but it's too hot outside. No, it's inside. Inside? Let's go. Yeah, it's courts inside. Yes. All right, let's go. We are now joined by Ronnie, co-owner of the Pickle Bar here in Palm Desert. Ronnie, this is such a fun and also smart idea to do here in the desert when it's 120 degrees in the summer. How did you get started with this idea? Well, it's the most popular sport in the history of the country, and we wanted to make sure that we had a place for people to play all year long. I love it. And you guys have this tournament that happened this weekend. You guys are going to be hosting tournaments every month, right? We hope to do tournaments every month. We have lessons, clinics, leagues, different classes, lots of great coaching opportunities. Oh, wow. So even if you're not super experienced, you can get the classes here. Speaking of classes, Ronnie, I'm not the best at pickleball. You have a trainer here that's going to help us today? Yep. I'm going to introduce you to Miles, one of our best instructors. So, so. We, we brought the most experienced coach in here. How long have you been playing pickleball, Miles? So I've been uh, playing for about three years. Saw the opportunity to, to come out to the desert, move out here, and then uh, got a hold of the, the pickle bar because it's indoors and, you know, summer is coming and yes. what a better way to you know, escape to, that heat. to escape that heat and okay. come and get some exercise, meet some new people I love and, it. Uh, and have some fun. And people can book classes with you here at the Pickle Bar, right? Absolutely. Yeah, they can go online or they can uh, at the picklebar.com okay. or they can just give us a call on the phone number. And we've got certain days. It's uh, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay. Beginners, it starts at two o'clock. If you're intermediate, then it's going to start at, at 3 o'clock. I love it. All right, well, yeah. speaking of classes, you're going to give me a little lesson. It is my first time playing pickleball. I did play a little ping pong, though. It okay. That's a little similar. So yeah. give me a little bit of a rundown. How does this work? Yeah, so there's some... <laughs> Anywhere in here is fine. Okay. Uh, that'll work. Backhand. Do you do backhand ever? Oh yeah, okay. you have to. You need. Bring it on. Great shot. All right, Miles. Now yeah. that we've done a little bit of a warm up, a little bit of a class, you think yeah. I'm ready to take on one of the best teams here in the valley? Oh, in the valley? Yeah. I'm not sure about that, but I know <laughs> you can beat your your friends. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're about to find out. Let's see. Can I get a trump card sandwich? You got it. Oh my goodness. This tastes amazing. You guys are one of the sponsors of the pickleball tournament that's happening this mm -hmm. weekend at the Pickle Bar. Tell us a little bit about your involvement with this weekend's tournament. So um, I'm a new pickleball person myself and uh, we just have our brand new food truck. I met Ronnie here at the Pickle Bar, awesome guy. Uh, only indoor pickleball, so this summer is mm -hmm. really good. Uh, we're doing a tournament where if you sign up in the tournament, it's going to be indoors and we're going to offer one of these amazing sandwiches with every sign up. So you get to play pickleball and you get to have a TKB sandwich. So I love it. Super awesome. A fun event and then you finish it off with an amazing sandwich. I'm not just saying this, but this is this tastes so good. If you if people miss the tournament that's happening this weekend, though, you guys are doing future events. Oh right? yeah, yeah. So we're staying busy this summer. You can follow us at TKB Bakery on Instagram, uh, tkbfoodtruck.com to see where I go next. We're bringing the food truck out. Me, your girl, is driving this thing. So Love it. if you see me on the road, kind of step aside because I'm the one driving this thing but yeah coming on I love it so the food truck you just kicked this off mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about TKB you guys are sandwich you got some cookies okay. yeah so we've been in the desert uh, since the early 90s my two brothers and I my brother Big Sip my other brother Nate who's on the other side of the truck we're the local family crazy family owned business we do um, homemade desserts fresh bread uh, big sandwiches so the food truck has been really awesome because I'm able to go out into the Coachella Valley and reach people that don't drive all the way to Indio yeah. for our sandwiches. Yeah, I love having the food truck. Like you said, if you're not in Indio, they're going to be driving that food truck around. You got to check out their sandwiches, all their desserts. Now that I got a little bit more energy, I think I'm ready to play <laughs> some more pickleball. What about you? Let's do it. I'm right, ready. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 
Imani, where can people go? I know we have to maybe schedule the courts or for more information about the tournaments. Where can people go to find that information? People can visit us at pickledbar.com or they can follow us on Facebook or Instagram for more information. All right, guys, I'm going to keep working on my pickleball skills. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Welcome back guys, I'm Tolly Latoy, sports reporter here at NBC Palm Springs and today we're starting this segment called Signature Hole where we showcase all of the great golf that the Coachella Valley has to offer and today we're here at Mission Lakes Country Club and joining me now is Eric Charos, GM over here. Eric, thanks so much for joining me today. Tally, thank you so much for having us. Today we're here on hole number 11. This is a par four. It looks pretty tight just being out here. It's 425 from the tips but we're playing it at 403. Yeah, this is a 403 yard par four straight down the middle. It's a little bit of a dog leg left, but uh, it's a tight, narrow hole with, with the hazard on the right, OB on the left. Now let's talk about what we are gonna need off the tee. How far do we need to go? I see the fences out there. You know, I, I just wanna know how far do I, can I go in order to get that second shot in a good spot to approach the Well, green? to be in a level line, we're looking between 200, 215 yards max. That'll leave us a long iron in, but that gives us a level lie. The bigger hitters could hit it down the left side, but it'll be on a downhill lie. And I have a driver and you have an iron in your hand. Let's see what we can do. These are new to me, to be honest. I just got the P770s, Eric. I need to know what's in your bag. I play Strix on Z axis. Okay, Eric, here we are. Both perfect shots right in the dead center of the fairway. I couldn't make this up. Um, now what? So we're gonna be hitting into a green that's 188 yards from here. It's a three-tier green. Luckily, the pin's in the middle. So it's a lot easier from the middle pin than it is the back pin. So here we're gonna have a couple good shots here, but we've got a ravine that we gotta go over. So it's about a 180 yard carry over that ravine, but that's out of our mind. We're just gonna hit it. And also just going over there, I mean, looking at it, if you come short, that's that looks like it can come all it, the way down to the ravine. It's really, it's straight uphill. Let's take these shots, Eric.
Well, Eric, that was fun. That was pretty much like a pretty tough feat from the tee to the green. Thanks for being out here today. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Uh, it is a tough par four here, and a, a par any day was a good score. Yeah, par or bogey. This is where you limit the mistakes. But I know a lot of people at home really want to get out here to this gem right here in Desert Hot Springs. How can they find you? How can they even get on and play? Well, they can go to our website, MissionLakesCountryClub.com, but it is open to the public and it's open all season long. And, and you know, the beauty of this place, Mission Lakes Country Club, it's about 10 degrees cooler than the Valley Floor. Awesome. Well, guys, that's going to do it for us. More Palm Springs Unwrap coming up after the break. here in Papa Heads. They are going to be at Village Fest every Thursday, Fridays at Friday nights on Pearson and Desert Hot Springs. And they're here tonight at concerts in the park. Where we're going to hear some incredible jazz music from AM FM. This is happening through the end of the month every Thursday. Come check it out. Now we're here enjoying this incredible event, but we're also here to talk to you viewers about what you love to do here in the desert. So let's go find out. in the desert for Raul? I've lived here all my life except while I was in the military I was gone for about 13 years. Thank you for your service. What would you say is your favorite thing to do here in the desert? I like to uh, go to the concerts, uh, like to walk, hike and stuff and I love coming to the park at, uh, for these, these shows that they have here. Do you have a favorite hike that you like to see in the desert? A hike? Yeah. I, I like to do the bump and grind. Beth, what would you say is your favorite thing to do here in the desert? Come to the Thursday night concert in the park, of course, with my friends. Perfect. There you go. Celebrate birthdays. You like to celebrate. It's your birthday, right, Deborah? Next Thursday is my next birthday. Next Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Free birthday. Free birthday. Well, there's a concert on my birthday next Thursday. Okay. Outside of concerts, Deborah, what is the best way that you celebrate your birthday here in the desert? Being with my friends and pool party at Diane's on Saturday. <laughs> go to the pool parties. Favorite restaurant you like to go to? Just had dinner at Mama Gina's. Mama Gina's, where's that? On El Paseo. El Paseo. Mama Gina's, what's their specialty there? Italian. Oh, 
Italian. Ooh, and red wine. Red, red wine. Some good pasta. Okay, well, happy early birthday. <laughs> Palm Springs High School graduate of what year? 1960. I love it. And you've hey, been I did everything. You're an incredible dancer. You love the concerts. Oh, oh, yeah, we're get up. Mirage, Rancher Mirage, Orange County, and Michigan. The best place you've ever lived in? Here. Is it the palm trees or the weather? Which, which? The mountains, it's the sky, it's the trees. It's beautiful here. We live in paradise. I agree. I've been here almost 30 years. So. <laughs> Two years, and I'm loving it too. So thank you. Favorite thing to do here in the desert? Play tennis as much as I can. You got a favorite spot, favorite court? Oh yeah, Cathedral Canyon Country Club. Canyon Country Club, playing some tennis. Davis, the best. Right, I love it. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, what's your favorite thing about the zoo? The zoo? Uh, the beautiful, it's beautiful, the trees, it's shady, the giraffes, yeah. all the animals, just walking through. Yeah. And of course, in the evening when they have the lights on at certain times of the year. Oh, I know, I love the glow in the park, super fun. All right, what about your husband over here? Favorite thing about the desert? I'm sorry? Favorite thing about the desert? Do I like the desert? <laughs> Everything about it. He loves it all. That's a great answer. I don't, play golf. I don't play golf. You love it all. I love everything but golf. Everything but golf. I like it. Great answer. Thank you. Judy and Pete here. Pete, former Marine. Ura. Ura. Favorite thing to do here in the desert? Oh man, I love the I love the zoo. The zoo. Living deserts. I love it. Favorite animals? Oh, giraffe. I love the giraffes. They got a lot of them too. I know. And you can feed them too. All right, what about you? I love the living desert as well, but I like the rhino. The rhino, and they got two of them now. Yeah, they do. It's good. Living desert. Check it out. Thanks, guys. Where'd you learn how to dance? I used to teach ballroom dancing when I was young. Can we see a little sample? Well, I've had so much fun getting to know you viewers, getting to go showcase all the different things happening in the Valley for this week's episode of Palm Springs Unwrapped. I'm going to get back to dancing and doing a little bit of jazz. We're going to end this show this week, but we'll see you next week for another episode of Palm Springs Unwrapped. See you later.